we are going to talk about routes and route tickets along with the mobile devices. So the first thing you have to do is build your route schedule. Once that is built, you'll go to Sync Mobile Devices, select Routes in the drop-down, and hit Sync. When this is completed, your routes have now been sunk up to the mobile devices. The next step is for your text to go to the mobile device, input their username and password, and hit Login. When they do this, anything that is assigned for today, any routes they have for today will show up here. But additionally, your, your technicians can start a route ticket from here, but they can also go to Routes and Route Schedule, which also shows you today's routes and any day in the future. I only have four routes set for today. Yeah, they all are. You'll notice that one of them's in blue. That's an indication that I have already performed a route ticket for this customer. So we're going to go ahead and do Alfonso's Pizza right now. To do a route ticket, all you have to do is click this yellow Actions button and click on Stop Details. These are just further GPS tools, the in route, on site, and complete. These are just GP locations, so GPS locations. If you want your text to check in on the way or when they're on site or when they're complete, we can do that. And it can be used later in a report to see where they were at at what time. However, a lot of people do not use this. They just go to Stop Details and create their route tickets. Because at the bottom of a route ticket, when you complete it, it will ask to save your GPS location. And if you allow it, it will show up on your report. So once you're here, you basically need to be able to create a route ticket. Once you're at the stop details for the customer, just click on Create Ticket. And for this demonstration, we're going through a route ticket that only does group fields. So if your guys in the field do not charge for chemical use, then you don't need to worry about the line items for chemicals. Only add any other charges that you may need. Now this is purely to show you how to do a route ticket with groups only. We have other videos that will show you how to do a route ticket with groups and with pricing. So if you need those, please contact the training department. So from here, once your guys create this route ticket, it's going to give you the name of the customer, the route, the stop number, and the date that this is for. The first thing they have to do is they have to click this button to check in. Mine says that I did not share GPS location. That's because I've turned it off in the past. However, you will get a pop-up that asks you to share it. Just click Allow. The screen refreshes real quick, and it inputs the time. You are not allowed to just click in here and put in a time on your own. It'll let you type all day long, but the time will never stick. This is how we keep our technicians basically aligned with everything else. This is the way that we know that they're truly on site at the right time. So the first thing they want to do is arrive. And then if there's any extra comments that they may need to add, Maybe you need to send another person out to look at a pool pump later. Um, maybe you need somebody to check in. Or maybe you just need to relay a comment to the office. Um, maybe please send Bill at the end of the month. Once your technician inputs anything in this comments, they have to hit the Save button. This will save them a world of headaches. If they don't hit Save, they're going to lose that note. It's going to ask if you want to complete the ticket at this time. No, we do not. We are still working on this. And I'll show you why it's important that we save before we move forward here in a moment. The next thing is these group fields. As we talked about in earlier videos, these group fields are purely used for documents, documentation purposes only. These can be run via reports later. We do not charge via the group fields. If you need to input charges, that's what your line item area is for. But for this demonstration, this is purely how to use the groups in these route tickets, no line items. You click on the group, and I have set up groups earlier. As you see, I have a few things here. I also have a couple test um, chemicals that we may be adding. Maybe we need to add some alkalinity or some trichlor while out in the field. And then you just go through these groups one by one. You can click right here. This will compact and expand an easy way to navigate the app. Maybe I need to add something to group three. I'm going to check off a couple of my uh, things here. And then I'm going to compact this. Now, if I did need to add line items, I could expand, click Add Items, and then find the item I want. But this route ticket does not need items. This is purely for people using chemicals only. Next, your technicians can add images. And this is why it's important that you save your comments. After I add an image, this page will refresh and is not coded to auto-save this area. 
So if it refreshes before you save the comment, then you will lose the comment. So to add an image, from a mobile device, it's a little different than a desktop. When I hit Choose File here, I'm only getting the option to add the image that I choose. When you click this Choose File from a mobile device, you're going to get a pop-up asking you, do you want to add an image that you've already taken, or do you want to take an image now? Once you've added them, you hit Save. And this is where the page refreshes. That's why it's important that we do the Save button up here when we add our comments, or we lose it. Now, if you expand the images, you'll see that we've attached one successfully. The very last piece of working a route ticket here is the footer. What you guys are going to want to do is make sure they click a departure time and say yes if it asks to grab the location. And then go to the footer. We now have our arrival and departure time. Now we can either sign this or we can just mark it as complete. If you sign, it gives you a pop-up. You can squiggle right with your finger right on the device and give a signature and then hit save and it will complete the ticket or you can just slide the complete to yes. Once you're done with that, the ticket's complete. If you were to hit print, you will see a receipt for lack of a better word. My images are not displaying because I have not saved them here. Additionally, you will see an image here if you took one, but we did not. You'll notice all the chemical readings are in here, and if you keep scrolling down, there's your images. This is just a receipt. It's something you can email to the customer if you'd like. You can hit the email button from the device. A lot of pool or um, grass companies generally don't do that, but it's entirely up to you. It is an option. From here, you're done with the route ticket. They just want to hit the back button to back out, and if they hit the back button again, it brings them back to the route schedule. You'll notice that the system now shows me that Alfonso's is in blue. That's the indication that I have created a route ticket for this customer. The next move, we want to sync that into the desktop. We want to hit the drop down. First of all, if the screen is not open, go ahead and hit sync mobile devices. Select route tickets from the drop down because that's what we are pulling in and then hit sync. And I'm showing this sync for the purposes of this video so that everybody is aware that you may see not responding along the top here. It's a false message. We do not have the ability to adjust this message. It's just the way that it's built with access. Um, it should say, please wait. But the system will error if there's an error. So if you see not responding, don't ever force close the software. If the system has a problem, it will tell you. So just leave it alone. Even if it goes completely white, it will eventually display the background again. It's just because the machine is churning hard and doing a lot of work. You click OK once it says it's completed. And then if we close this, we can go to our route info, route ticket list, and you'll notice that Alfonso's ticket is right here. And if we want to go in and take a look at it, we can. We can just double click the, no the number to the ticket. It shows that it saved all of our answers and all of our chemical readings. And if you ever want to reference that printout at a later time, just hit the view signed ticket. Maybe somebody says, hey, will you email me that little receipt? You view signed ticket, and there's your receipt. And that's all it takes to do a route ticket with group field readings.